places. Jimmy, I'm going to ask you on the ride back who Florence is. So I didn't look her up. Um, I think she's. Um, she's was she a nun or was she like? Well, I mean, I think she's a, 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 a royal Greek woman or something. Set up. Look like he's doing it. In a monastery I probably should have done this when I was. I mean, was she was, was she was she was she cloistered into a monastery or or was she was she just of off spring, bounds? Goddess of spring or something. Was she just off bounds to this guy because he they were doing different classes? Or she or was something. Yeah, it was just it's just an ode not, to. Uh, but it's but it's it's unrequited love. Obviously, yeah. he can't love her. He's not allowed to love her. So he's a bad. I just got the feeling that maybe they had been in love, or they had were going that way, and that for some reason she was um, she was taken out of his realm somehow. Like maybe he is the servant, and she's the mistress. So Find the poem, but I can't find it. I mean, it sounds like from from the poetry that she may even feel similarly toward him, but for whatever reason, she's off bounds. Yeah, she's not allowed to love. Although I love, what is he? Because he, he even says, "If from the lover thou wilt flee, yet let him turn thee dear." Like yeah. she. Like for some some reason in her life, she is denied physical love. Yeah. Because she's yeah, that, denied that's, love. That's my interpretation is that they want to but they can't. Right. For whatever reason. So let so let me be your friend instead. Yeah. Since I can't be your love, then let me, let be, let me at least be in your life somehow, yeah. some way. Okay, Burns' early songs to Chloris were written on, be on behalf of an excise colleague called John Gillespie. The later ones were offered on his own account. She was the daughter of a rich merchant who moved the members of his family from Moffat to just outside Dumfries, where Burns' excise duties brought him into contact with them. John married a man named... Oh, Jean. So I think they were originally for someone named Jean. Mm -hmm. that, and he changed the name to Chloris. And I think Chloris is like the, a goddess of spring or floral or something. Oh, but that makes sense. I mean, he yeah. compares his love to something, uh, something yes. ephemeral that you know nobody can attain. In Greek mythology, the name Chloris appears in the Byron context. She's basically, he, he's just, he's the lowest age, and she is. Highest the, age. And there may have been, there may have been return feelings, but she was betrothed to another, and mm -hmm. he was just a lowly poet that it turned out to be the bard of Scotland. So, oh, Chloris is a fun. nymph associated with spring flowers and new growth. Okay. Believed to have dwelt in the Elysian Fields. Elysian Fields? She, she mom, lives mom, right here. Up there. Yeah. <laughs> right so, there. Mom, right out there. So Chloris lives like. Right there. Right, right out there. there. Pontchartrain Beach. Yeah. 